The Save the Mecca movement originated with cutbacks made in the anthropology department. Since then, it has escalated into a campaign targeted at the university's administration. The Save the Mecca campaign is an opportunity for people, all people on campus, all students, all instructors, all administrators to get involved in a meaningful and active way in changing the course of a renewal on our campus, of academics on our campus. I think the Save the Mecca campaign will affect students to get involved because it will, one, provide them with the information that they need to have an opinion about it because a lot of students don't know some of the things that are going on at the university. Student leaders believe it is essential for the student body to be more educated about the campaign. I think every student has the opportunity to be actively involved and I, I, I don't think, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that this is a movement that's uh, that's five people and then everybody else is just you know external. I think it's about the number of people who come to these meetings, who go to those town halls and forums and speak up. Well, as a student council, what we're trying to do is one, inform the students about what's going on because you can't act on something if you don't know anything about it. And the second thing we're trying to do to make sure that we save the Mecca is promote ideas that will be proactive. Department Chair of both Sociology and Anthropology, Dr. Ivor Livingston says, the campaign was less about sociology and anthropology, but more about changes in the university. He then emphasizes the university isn't dying, is going through severe economic changes. It's a medium for everybody to come together and have those discussions about, well, what do we think we need to do next? What moves do we need to make in order to change the course of this renewal on campus so that we can ensure that we're not moving away from our legacy, that we're renewing our le legacy but not removing it? Students share their personal experiences with the administration building and offer advice to current and future Howard University students. It needs a lot of work. Um, they need to start servicing their students better. They need to start taking care of their students better because I honestly think that has a lot to do with why um, our alumni don't give back because they've had such problems. I believe that any student coming to Howard should definitely stay on top of it and, and don't let, don't expect for them to take to, to take the time to to keep the student notified. The Save the Mecca campaign has left students and faculty members in an uproar about the modifications made to the renewal plan. These activists want to see changes within the university and its administration. Reporting from Howard University, I'm Sarah Barnes and this is Spotlight Network.